What's going on everybody? Just wanted to make an introductory video here to explain what's going to be going on over the next couple of weeks. Uh, basically, you'll be seeing a five-part series from me about X-Plane and getting X-Plane to look and uh, feel the best, in my opinion, the way that it's going to be. Uh, a lot of this stuff here is, uh, there are obviously videos out there already for it, but uh, I just wanted to make these for documentation's sake for myself and anybody else that wants to follow it. Uh, so let's go over what's going to be in this five-part series. So part one is going to be Ortho 4XP setup and the settings that I use. Part two is going to be using XN Convert with the Ortho JPEG imagery to basically tweak the colors and stuff like that. Part three is going to be setting up XVision along with the tweaks that I use and the preset. Part four is going to be how I get my night lighting looking like I do, uh, as you could see in front of you, and along with other modifications that I have to the sim. And part five is going to be my general sim settings along with how I keep my scenery.ini organized um, so it's not all jumbled all over the place. Uh, just for reference, the only two payware things I am using uh, as far as scenery enhancement is the Extreme Trees East and West along with X-Vision. So those are really, it's three things total because East and West are two separate programs. Um, to me, I think that those two programs, uh, Extreme Trees East and West, give the best tree placement that I have seen. Um, X-Vision for the price is extremely worth it uh, in my opinion and that's basically part of what you're seeing in front of you here. Uh, so with those five parts uh, you should be able to get your sim pretty much set up. Um, Let's just go over real quick in this uh, introduction video my PC settings uh, or the hardware that I'm using for my PC just so we get that out of the way and not have to worry about it in any other videos. I am using a Intel i7-7700K liquid cooled overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance, 3200 megahertz speed RAM. Um, I am using a EVGA 1080 for the win graphics card, and that is all running off of SSDs and M.2 drives. Um, my main operating system is on the M.2, whereas I'm running my X-Plane off of a SSD, and the only mechanical drive I have in my system is to hold the ortho. Uh, because ortho is such a huge uh, space hungry program there's no way I could afford an SSD big enough to hold ortho um, but as you will see in episode 5 um, or I'm sorry episode 1 you'll see how I create shortcuts from my mechanical drive to the SSD so that we can store our ortho on different drives. Uh, without getting too deep into other things we'll be talking about in other videos, uh, we're going to end this introduction video here and uh, I will post some video clips now that are going to show what you will potentially be able to get out of your sim once we're all done here. Alright guys, I will see you in part one. Take care.